In this last video, I want to show you some of the stats we've got available to you and also cover off some of the advanced integration options within radio.co. So let's take a quick look at the dashboard of an active radio station. As you can see, you can view the number of listeners that are currently connected to your station. You can also see more detailed information such as their location, the device they're listening from and the platform they're tuned in via. There's also a heat map showing you the most popular countries of where your listeners are tuned in from. So let's now select the reports option from a right hand menu and in the reports section you'll see a variety of other stats available. These include analytics view. This is a detailed view of how many listeners have connected to your station over a given period. In other words, historical stats. You can clearly see how they connected to your station and whereabouts in the world that they located. You can also see the number of unique versus total overall number of listeners that were connected. Now let's cover the reports, all of which can easily be exported in CSV format for further analysis or reporting purposes. Firstly, let's have a look at song history reports, which enables you to see which songs were played and how many times in a given period. This is useful for royalty reporting purposes. The TTSL is Total Time Spent Listening, sometimes known as TLH, which stands for Total Listening Hours, and this is a report containing figures given when you take a sum of how long each of your listeners individually connected for as a time value. This information is great so that you can track the overall performance of your station, you can give this information to advertisers in your media pack, and also use it for royalty reporting purposes to royalty collection agencies if necessary. Finally, the log is a detailed view of what's going on at the radio.co servers. It's unlikely that you'll need this information as it's mainly for our technical support experts to diagnose any problems if they occur. Moving on to our settings tab, on the right menu, I'll take you through these sections and briefly talk about what they do. Firstly, profile. This is important and you should make sure that all of this information is completed. We use the profile image in the player when album art can't be found for certain songs. So we recommend uploading a station logo here that should be square. The image might also be used by our directory partners for things like apps and promotion. So it's always worth uploading your own logo. Below this, you'll see a few fields about your station. This is also important. If you want to be included on internet radio directories like TuneIn, you'll need all of these fields completed. Broadcast. Here are the core settings for your streaming output. Firstly, an adjustable crossfade between tracks, which we recommend for a smooth sounding station. Next, we have adjustable output quality. If you're not sure what this is, we recommend leaving it at default 128k MP3, as this is near CD quality, streams smoothly on most internet connections, and is very widely compatible across devices and platforms and browsers and media players and so forth. Optionally, we have an ability for a second low quality stream optimized for mobile devices. This by default is in 32K AAC format and this can't be changed. Next up, security. At radio.co, we've got built-in security and firewalls on all of our servers which will protect your station from nasty traffic. However, you can optionally choose to block certain countries or user agents from your stream. These can be useful for licensing requirements or to prevent stream ripping. These happen on a streaming server level, so they're impossible to bypass. Advanced, here you will also find your FTP information. Integrations, finally we integrate with many popular services including TuneIn and Twitter. These settings allow you to automatically synchronize the now playing data to these services. You can quickly link your Twitter account with a few clicks of the mouse and choose what you want to say in the tweet and the tweets will go out automatically and keep your listeners updated. Great, so that concludes this tutorial series. You should be ready to start broadcasting your new radio station. And hey, if you've ever got any questions, our friendly support team are always on hand to help. Just email us on studio at radio.co to get in touch at any time.